Headlines, Google shares pop 5% after company announces Gemini AI model. So essentially, Google is all in on this AI hype. And essentially, that's where the money is these days in the markets. Um, I was looking at the uh, chart here. You guys can see it for yourself. This is the max chart over on uh, Google Finance. And it shows that Google, yes, indeed, does go, pretty much always go up. However, uh, in the last five years, uh, Google um, has had some you know, bumpy road. Um, and is not quite back to the all-time high. You guys can see right there for yourself. And the question is, will this AI hype push Google past the all-time high and the markets are gonna keep going? Um, my particular opinion in this is that I just, I don't see it, but you know, this is what is difficult about uh, essentially talking about these issues because very few people will tell you the truth when there's so much money involved. And if you are telling people the truth, um, essentially you are at risk. And I want to kind of dive into this and explore more why I'm talking about this stuff. Um, uh, moreover, you know, rumors do matter quite a bit. So this is another headline. I'm just kind of want to go over financial reporting, these kind of stuff. Um, this was uh, Virgin Galactics. That was the uh, space tourism company, Richard Branson. This was an interesting headline just a couple days ago. You guys can see it here. Virgin Galactic shares plunge as Branson rules out further funding, meaning he doesn't want to dump any more money into it. And then uh, the, the sub headline was uh, uh, British billionaire alarms investors by stating space tourism company has enough cash to quote operate on its own. So, you know, he doesn't want to like spook anyone, alarm anyone, but he's not necessarily putting any more money into it himself. Uh, moreover, um, relating to this kind of thing, uh, Elon Musk, SpaceX valued at 175 billion or more in tender offer. So I guess they're going to be, um, I think it's going to be a private share sale. I don't think they're going to go, well, at least they haven't announced anything yet about IPO in terms of public offering, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, the, the thing is why I'm mentioning all of these things together, be it the Google AI, Virgin Galactic, you know, uh, tourism or Elon Musk is SpaceX, when that's going to go public, etc. is that so much money is involved with these things. And when I share my point of view on this kind of stuff, um, I always want to sort of emphasize that uh, I try to give you a point of view sort of behind the curtain kind of things because there was a story that was really big today that um, coming out of China and it, it has to do with essentially like credit rating and, and Moody's. Um, the, the headlines here, let's go through because I want you guys to kind of, kind of get on the same page of where we are at. You can read here. Uh, Moody's cuts outlook for eight China banks on potential credit quality decline, downgrades Hong Kong too, right? So Moody's is downgrading China. I mentioned this a couple days ago, um, but uh, I didn't realize how widespread it was, right? So we're talking about banks. We're also talking about cities, the country's rating itself. Moody's faces growing backlash over its negative outlook on China. Um, so obviously, you know, companies and the, the uh, uh, government in China is not going to like these kind of things. Uh, moreover, Moody's issues negative outlook for China cites bailout risks. Um, we, we talked about this before, many of the cities um, financially aren't great. And moreover, we have the whole real estate debacle. And every time I, I find something you know, to do with like Evergrande or Country Garden, it's like delay, 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 delay. It's not like, hey, we've solved the problem. It's just like, hey, we'll kick the can down the road. I've read some estimates it could take you know five years for this stuff to come back. Who knows, right? I mean, it's hard to say. And, and this is the thing that's interesting because this headline really stood out to me and why I want to go over it. Uh, with you guys and again it, it relates to all these things because when you tell people the truth or inside info essentially it's a very very sensitive topic so like this one example is moody's staff advised uh to work from home ahead of china outlook cut so basically if you kind of know like which direction it's going to go over at moody's they started telling people that to stay home don't come into the office um, I mean, it's real. It's really interesting. Uh, U.S. rating agency employees in Beijing and Shanghai believe concern over possible backlash prompted unusual move. And uh, they told people to stay home. And um, let's go through this, guys. It's, it's really interesting when you go through it. Uh, Moody's Investor Service advised staff in China to work from home ahead of its cut to outlook for country's sovereign credit rating. A suggestion staff believed was prompted by concern over Beijing's possible reaction according to employees familiar with the situation. And then uh, it goes on to say here, the move by the U.S. credit uh, agency highlights the unease many foreign companies uh, doing business in the world's second largest economy where have suffered police raids, exit bans for staff, and arrests amid tensions between China and U.S. and its allies, right? So um, if you want to do business in China, essentially you got to play by local rules. Uh, moreover, we've, we've talked about this before, before on the channel to where um, Elon Musk is really uh, bowing so. Uh, slash, you know, sort of accommodating to uh, China. He never criticizes China or the government. He was even, you know, 
um, complementing the, their companies. Um, this is sort of why. So I want to point this stuff out. It, it's real. If you want to do business there, if you want access to their to their market, you got to play by uh, their rules. And so when Moody's is downgrading, you know, be it Chinese banks, uh, the government, et cetera, um, the employees are told to stay home. This is this is why it's such a big deal. If you guys understand it, and you're like, why would they want to, you know, be forced to stay home? Essentially, um, if you come in the office, you run risk that the government will come and do investigations on you, et cetera. So I'll, I'll read it here. You guys can hear it for yourself. Um, some Moody's department heads in the country told associates on Friday that non-administrative staff in Beijing and Shanghai should not go into the office this week. And this is a quote here. They didn't give us the reason, but everybody knows why, said one China-based Moody's employee referring to the government request work from home. We are afraid of government inspections. And so essentially kind of how the game is played. And and, and this is this is not just China. It's everywhere in the world. But China is kind of more, um, how can I say, Mm, applies to more of is is that uh, they want to maintain control on things. Um, they're very concerned about how things look and how things appear, um, and also too you scare people. <laughs> and uh, you know this sort of you know this sort of fear factor kind of thing to where um, if you say the wrong thing, I mean they can do anything that they want. You might want to keep your job. This kind of stuff, right? And just think of it this way, guys. You you know that's why I started with like these earlier things. Let's say you work at Google. And, you know, the headlines come out that you're uh, developing Gemini AI and, and all the investors are excited and stuff like that. But like you work there and you see, you, you, how can I say, you kind of know how far along they really are. And maybe they're not as far along as, as like other people have said, right? Because you work there, you know, or or maybe, you know, you're, you're kind of at Virgin Galactic and you know that they're really far away from actually, you know, putting... Uh, people in space on a regular basis and i think they were charging like two hundred fifty thousand dollars, this kind of stuff do you guys see what i'm saying here it's like like the like when you actually know the truth or the inside info um you know you you fear for these kind of things and also you're dealing with publicly traded companies you're dealing with a lot of money or in, in the moody's case you're dealing with governments uh you know and government-run banks right and or the elon musk spacex kind of situation um let's say like for the rocket launch thing where you know, every time a rocket explodes over at SpaceX, everyone's cheering, right? So, um, you know, and Musk might have told you to cheer, that kind of stuff, but like, you know what, what's really going on. And so this is sort of why I, I, I try my best when, when we have these conversations like about all this stuff all the time, um, just to, you know, give you a, a realistic uh, outlook and, and perspective on this stuff, right? Um, I, I am well aware that uh, Google Stock has had a great year. I'm, I'm well aware of that, right? So I, I'm honest with you guys. I can literally see it. I don't just make up stuff that's like, oh, no, it's going down. No, I, I can see it's had a great year, right? And then I'll also show you guys, you know, the truth in this is that we're still not quite back to the all-time high. And that's the question. Is, is this AI hype going to carry further or moreover? How can we understand what's going on over in China? Um, we still haven't had a, a resolution on the uh, real estate stuff. Um, this is moreover, this is interesting. Um, I want to go a little bit more detail on the China situation. It says here, um, staff members said working from home might prevent Chinese authorities from questioning many employees in one place if they decided to raid the agency, but added that such raid was still considered to be unlikely. Okay, but still stay from home just in case it happens. That's why they, they did that. And this is, was a quote from Moody's. Um, our commitment to maintaining the confidentiality and integrity of the ratings process is paramount and therefore we cannot comment on internal discussions, if any, um, related to specific credit ratings or issuers. So if the government were to come, they'd want to say basically kind of like who made the decision and who did this and maybe, you know, issue punishment that way or kind of like unlock the, how can I say, what's the right word to say, the levers uh, in order to make sure that uh, on the surface things are still positive. That's why I said before in China, it's, it's more apparent where um, people are really concerned about the, 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 how things look. Okay. Not necessarily how things are, but how things look. And, um, I want to mention with you guys too. Um, I've mentioned it several times, but, uh, I got to mention it again, you know, if you're looking for a Christmas gift or, or just some good reading for the holiday, um, pick up a couple of my book uh, called positive angle. I actually talk about China in the book and then there's a whole section of sort of like how things look and opposed to how things are right. Two different things. And this, you know, it's, it's not just the China situation, you know, why do you want to read this, but it, it's kind of an in-depth discussion of sort of like why I, I tell you guys the things that I tell you or, or why I see the world to say the way that I do, because everything is different when you see how the sausage is made and what's behind the curtain, right? And so it, it's the same for anyone, um, you know, like I see, Ruben book, I'll, I'll share all my experiences, but same for anyone who say, 
works for Google and they'll say, hey, this is the experience over at Google, you know, because there's employees over there at Google right now. They read these headlines and they know what's really going on. And so this is sort of like what I always, you know, try to do my best when, when we go through this stuff is I, I just try to give you like as best as honest and and um, how can I say, um, uh, how about measured, measured, um, you know, uh, thoughts on this kind of stuff as, as much as possible because this is just reality and it's just how it is. Because there's so much money involved, people don't like negative news. That's one. And then two, the other reality is uh, you become really, really popular on social media if you are a hype machine. So I, you know, I can't speak to all other channels out there, but I'm sure there's many. <laughs> I don't know how many, but I'm sure there's many that are all hyping all of this AI stuff uh, because people, you know, like these kind of things. I, I, I get it. So that's why I wanted to say, hey, yes, this is all the headlines. I can see it. And this is all the numbers, right? So uh, again, will this push past that? But um, I think with the souring news from China, uh, I just I personally feel that the money's not there. That's just my opinion on that thing. And also too, um, with the Fed, uh, you know, keeping rates higher for longer. At least that's what they say. Uh, you know, we'll see. Obviously, going the next year, but you know, the way things are going, I, I think things are going to slow down or are already there. Just we haven't quite seen the full effects of it. That's just that's just my opinion on that stuff. But Again, look at all this stuff, and, and as I always say, with any of these kind of decisions or, you know, reading the news or what to do with your money, et cetera, just as, as long as you're not putting all your eggs in one basket, um, you're going to be fine, right? And as long as you're not stretching your out, yourself out too thin, you're going to be fine. Um, the people who, you know, are like sweating bullets all the time are the ones who are like, you know, YOLO'd on, on Google and AI or YOLO'd on Virgin Galactic, right? So then they're suddenly hanging on every single headline, et cetera. Um, and that's why you, you diversify because you don't know, you don't know, is it all BS over at Virgin Galactic? You don't know, is it all BS over at China? Well, who knows, but I'm going to put my money in different places. Some things I, you know, I'm going to go with like completely known meaning, it, you know, it just, Hey, hang out with, with cash. Just for example, say the Buffett's like they're the Buffett's, or I should say the, uh, uh, Berkshire, uh, Berkshire Hathaway, like they got really high cash flows over there because like, Hey, you know what? I'm fine. Just collect an interest on that kind of stuff. Right. And, and, um, and we talked about with Charlie Munger's philosophy, was like you know you, you don't necessarily have to take every deal just take the the, the solid deals right and then we look for a couple solid deals a year that kind of thing so that's how you want to be thinking about with, with your money if you're constantly playing the hype all of the time chances are you are going to get burned with these kind of things so yes you can make money uh trading you totally can um but uh, always stay in control of these things so anyway i hope uh this conversation is uh, interesting to you and i'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this whole china thing where uh, Moody's told their people to, to work from home. Uh, when I read that, I was like, oh my God, what's going on over there? And, um, you know, that that's just kind of shows you like the kind of money that's involved with this stuff and how sensitive uh, this reporting is. So thanks again uh, for your time, everyone, and uh, I'll catch you next video.